In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to apply Final Cut Pro's built-in Can Burns effect to add some movement to a still image. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Final Cut Pro Shorts, a quick 1-2 minute tutorial highlighting Final Cut Pro tips and tricks, simple effects and other features. Down on my timeline, I have a panorama image shot on an iPhone. When this image is viewed on a 16x9 screen, you have two options. You either have large black bars at the top and bottom taking up a lot of screen real estate, or you can crop in on the image, cutting off large portions on both sides. Also, a still image in a video can be downright boring and really mess up your video pacing. Applying the Cam Burns effect to the still image can solve both of these problems. Let's try it out. With the clip selected from the Transform drop down menu, click on Crop and select the Cam Burns option. You are then presented with two rectangles in the viewer the green start rectangle and the red end rectangle. So your image will start with what's in the green rectangle and move to end with the red rectangle. You can click and drag either rectangle to adjust position or resize them by dragging the corners. You can also switch a start and end point by clicking this button in the top left corner. Once you're happy with the start and end points, click done. You can also adjust the speed of this effect simply by ripple trimming the clip. So, with the help of the Cam Burns effect, you can now view your entire image and you added some camera movement to spice up the still image a bit. The Cam Burns effect can be used on both still images and video clips and works especially well on time lapses. So, next time you need to add a still image to your video clip, try out this Cam Burns effect. I think you'll be pleased with the result. If you found this video helpful, make sure to share this with someone else who might like it. And check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.